sorry about the low low light video but it's 6 16 in the morning and uh i'm heading to pick up okay sorry about that um i guess i should tell you about what the video is about first so today's video is going to be about i guess how to get to south bay on the kayak like where i park on boca chica and stuff like, I mean, I've always I've been looking for videos like on how to get to South Bay on a kayak at least, and um, I haven't seen any videos on YouTube about it. And I've been asking like on Facebook and stuff, and some people say park at East La Blanca Park, and there's uh, I think it's Dolphin Cove, I think that dock off is called or something like that, Dolphin Dolphin something, and uh, just travel uh, across the strip channel and to South Bay, but uh, it seems a little bit of a sketchy paddle. So. Uh, we're just gonna park at Boca Chica Beach at the jetties about a little bit more to the left and uh, from the jetties and uh, and uh, just go from where we park dock off into the South Bay open uh, mouth mouth or whatever and then yeah so I have the trader the kayak trader in tow picking up picking up my friend Derek right now. And we'll be on our way to South Bay. So, yeah, I'm just getting here. So I guess I'll update you guys in a little bit. All right, so we just got onto Boca Chica Beach, and uh, I guess like I forgot to mention that if you're coming out here to try and get to South Bay, that you for like I mean, yeah, you for sure need a four x four truck with some, I guess, some all-terrain tires or something, because. I have my 4x4 on right now. I was cruising like at 2 RPM. I was getting like a little bit. Not, I wasn't getting stuck or anything, but it was a little sketchy a little while ago because I'm now I'm on harder sand. Like I guess when you're out here, also try and stay on the the wet sand because it's the most compact. Don't try don't try and be on the dry sand. And uh, just make sure you're on 4x4. And it looks pretty rough out here. Oh yeah, and this is Derek. Watch out, the camera! <laughs> Say what's up to my million viewers, dog. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, I guess this video is just gonna be on how to get out, uh, how to get to the South Bay. So, uh, so I guess when you once you enter Boca Chica, just take a left, straight left, and when you just keep on cruising until you hit the jetties. Oof, right here we're getting a little bit, a little bit sketchy. <laughs> the trailer in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the trailer in the back also. It's it's doing good. It's doing good. And then, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll update you guys once we get to the jetties. Oh, turtle! Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of turtles here. So don't, uh, also don't run over turtles because they're, I don't think they're extinct, but they're, they're like, uh, you gotta, they're protected and stuff. See so, yeah, out here, we're getting a little bit sketchy. So make sure you have your 4x4 on out here and you're cruising slow, don't be going too fast. And so yeah, I guess I'll update you guys in a little bit. So we just got out to the jetties and it's like hella windy. So we don't know yet if we're gonna take the kayaks out or we're just gonna fist the jetties, but we're gonna go out there, check it out. If I know where I'm going. <laughs> From Google Maps, it looks like we just follow the jetties all the way to, it's like some some little like bridge we, dock thingy we, over there. We took the wrong route. <laughs> we did not. Nah, we just <laughs> followed the jetties. Oh, look at that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty bad. That dangerous, my guy. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go to South Bay today. So I guess we'll probably be switching up the video to just fishing in the jetties. But we're gonna go check it out, go for a little ride. And uh, so yeah, so like over here, I guess like some pretty loose sand. So here's when you would want your four by four engaged and everything. But I think there's some people out here because these tracks look fairly new. But yeah, those waves look pretty bad. <laughs> so, I don't think we're going in the kayaks today. But I guess we'll keep you tuned. So we came a little bit further. Like we took, uh, we just followed, we're just following the shore, and it looks like it looks like a lot, looks a lot better, not as choppy. So I think we'll be good. We're just getting closer to the South Bay entrance, so we can get a swing dock off and not have to paddle three miles. Because we're we're originally expecting to dock off like a little like. A little ways behind us so we passed it by accident because it was actually a lot better condition than what my friend said it would be 
So uh, we're just going further until I guess until it looks like really sketchy and we can't go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, right now, I mean, the ground's like really hard. Like over here, you don't even need 404. But just to get just to travel on to, uh, oh, I think that's where they got stuck. Some like, pretty big wallows in there. <laughs> yeah, cause my friend said he got stuck out here last time. Or maybe over here. That's nah, fine. I guess we might want to check the weather and make sure it hasn't rained the days before because here I guess it gets a little bit You can see some people have trouble going through here with the mud. But I mean right now it's It's all hard. It's not it hasn't rained or anything. So we're still good <clears throat> Yeah, we're good for right now <laughs> And uh, so yeah, just I guess check the weather make sure when you come out here Make sure it hasn't rained a few days in ahead in uh, advance or anything and you should be good out here I mean, maybe you don't even need 4x4 four four to get out here, honestly. Boca Chica Beach wasn't that bad. And, uh, so we're just getting closer to the South Bay entrance. We're just following the bay, uh, following the, the shore. Uh, we'll go closer to the shore. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll update you once we get pretty close. So, uh, we came in the mount as far out, cause, like, over here we started going this way, and, like, we got... Over there seems a little too wet to cross, so I didn't want to go that way. And I see this little road between his plants, but then the plants just block off that road. And then over there is just full of mud. And then over there also, where I came through, is full of mud. I'm using my tire tracks. And here it looks pretty dry. So we're just gonna leave our kayaks here. But let me show you on Google Maps where we're at, so you can get a little idea of where we're at. So we're so on Google Maps, there's this little, oh, I have my brightness, oh, it's already high. On Google Maps, there's this little, little like dock, but it's not here anywhere, at least we didn't, we didn't see it, so it's an hour right map. So let me zoom out a little bit. So we're right here. So we're going to dock off from here, and then just uh, fall into the water, just all the way. And that's like all South Bay right there, on that, in that area. So we're just going to the kayak here and then we're gonna park my truck because right now it's low tide so high tide comes in at three three something p.m so like i think i'm pretty sure all this gets full of water like where all the mud is so we're gonna have to leave before three or after three we're thinking after three <clears throat> so right now we're just leaving the kayaks here and i'm gonna go park on top of like those hills over just to be just to be sure that my truck doesn't go underwater or anything so yeah, that's about that's where we're at. Right, right in that area. So I guess this is the mouth to enter South Bay, and we're just right, and we're just gonna come into here, and just fish all here. So this is Boca Chica Beach right here. Just follow it so you get to hit the jetties. Take a left, follow the shore, follow the shore. Oh, let me see. Follow the shore and then just end up where we're at. Oh, also I forgot health, uh, health, uh, helpful tip when you're racing your sand and everything. You can air on your tires like to about I think 20, 20 psi. I think sometimes depends on your. I guess depends on how big your tires are. Also, like mine are about uh, I can air down to about 20 psi and I get a lot more traction. Uh, but I didn't air down just because I had good traction the whole time. And, uh, but if you don't have good traction, you're sliding, getting a little bit scared, you can just air down your tires to some really low PSI. Just make sure you fill up, you fill back up before you get an expressway at high, highway speeds. So yeah, I guess we'll we'll head in, and then I'll start videoing once we start catching. If we catch, what do you think? Do you think we're gonna catch some big sharks or what's up? Some reds. Some reds. All right. Then yeah, video take later. So yeah, so we're parking on top of like this little hill here. So I'm coming up right now. So you can see that like we're way over there. But I mean just to be safe we're parking up here because I'd rather walk that little ways than get my truck flooded with water or something. So yeah. So yeah and then Lock everything, so we're over. Let me see if I can zoom in. I can zoom in. But yeah, that's where we're at so now. So you can see, I guess, like how here. I guess when it gets high tide, it gets water up, up here. 
So I went to, like, I went through a little bit of mud right now to come here. Let's get over back over here. But yeah, so we're about to duck off. I already dropped off the kayaks, just parked. And then I guess my next video will be once I'm on the water. So we just got, we, I mean, I just anchored right here, like at the, about like the mouth of South Bay, the entrance. And I'm just uh, rigging up my, I'm just using a Cajun Thunder and uh, plastic underneath. But uh, in this house, I, I've always had good luck with uh, <coughs> just poppy cork. So I'm gonna try out here. These AM lures, these AM lures always work. They're always working for me. <coughs> They smell like, they smell really good. Well, I guess they smell really bad for us, but they smell really good for, for fish and everything. But, uh, yeah, I just love these AM lures because, like, I've had, I mean, I've used gulp before, right? Like, who hasn't used gulp? But, like, after, like, after, like, a few casts, like, your, your smell just goes away. So, uh, these, these AM lures last, like, last forever, the smell. Like, I just threw away my old lure that was on here, and, uh, it still smelled, that's because I had used it last week, last weekend, so just uh, about a week ago I used it. And this, this color is a uh, chicken shark, and I, I love this color, this color work for me. I love it. So we're just going to cast a few times here, Derek's over there, casting poppy pork also. So we're just going to try our luck here for a little bit, see if, we, see if we get any hits or anything. If not, we have another spot, we're going to try like further that way but kind of a far paddle so we're I'm hoping we catch something here so we can hopefully catch our limit here or something <clears throat> but uh yeah I guess I'll create a video once I once I catch something <laughs>
guys so I never started another video because I never caught anything but Derek here he caught what how big was your uh, 24 inch 24 inch red out there in South Bay and like 
we were there, like, they were there. They just weren't biting our lures. I don't know. So, I didn't catch anything, so that's why I never created another video, but I guess hopefully this video helps you out. Helps you to get, like, to South Bay and, like, I guess how to get in there on a kayak instead of having to dock off from from Nisa Blanca and having to paddle, like, three miles or something, like, more probably. So, hopefully help you out so I guess if you have like an off-road capable vehicle then just uh, put on four-wheel uh, four drive and air down your tires if you have to 